heard the comments that people made and the objections that people had. But for some, it wasn't enough. Some in Sydney are worried about the solar farm headed to town. It'll be one of the biggest in the state. WCI 3's Courtney Bunting explains their concerns and how county leaders are trying to help. Ted Hartke has lived in Sydney for five years. He has a long list of reasons about why a solar farm shouldn't be built there. We're so desperate for an answer. We're jumping to the conclusion that wind turbines or solar panels are going to help it. The solar farm in Sydney will look a lot like this one, owned by the University of Illinois, except the one in Sydney will be much, much larger at 1,200 acres. County leaders have been hearing from people at meetings. They have developed over time um, rules and special conditions that would have to be met for people to use the land in this way. They've added conditions for noise levels and the way panels are disposed of. The materials will be either recycled or moved to a hazardous waste location or recycled in an appropriate way so that they are not just left on the property. But Hartke says he's still skeptical. The solar panels do contain some uh, chemicals and other toxic uh, ingredients, which if they are damaged in a storm, those will leach out. Reporting, I'm Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Construction on the solar farm will likely start toward the end of next year.